why do some people latch on to these crackpot ideas that have been disproven time and again? Who is most susceptible, and is there any way to change their minds? I asked an expert in the field of conspiracy theories. He's a professor named Joseph Yuzinski. He's at the University of Miami. He co-wrote the book called American Conspiracy Theories. Why do some people believe in conspiracy theories, especially those that have been disproven time and again, like this thing with crisis actors? Now, the reason why some people believe these conspiracy theories and other people don't is because some people just have a worldview that makes them accepting of conspiratorial logic. Why? Are they born like that? Does, do circumstances drive them into that? What we can surmise right now is that some people are just socialized into having this distrust or mistrust of government and other big institutions so that when something happens, they are very accepting of conspiracy theories. This is not directly correlated inversely with intelligence necessarily. People who have a strong conspiracy mentality tend to be less educated and less wealthy than those who engage less in that sort of thinking. Gotcha. Now, that's the central tendency. It doesn't mean that everyone is stupid or less educated. You could have some very bright, very well-educated people who engage in conspiracy theorizing. You have professors, you have presidents who do it. Yeah. What sort of negative effects can accompany being so conspiracy-minded? So what we know about people who really engage in conspiracy thinking is that they're more accepting of violence against the government, and they're also more accepting of conspiring themselves to achieve ends. So Timothy McVeigh makes a great example of this. He believed the government was conspiring to take away rights, so he fought fire with fire. He conspired against the government and blew up the FBI building in Oklahoma. But are there any benefits derived from it otherwise? Conspiracy theories can do positive things. I mean, they can push us to, to delve deeper into particular um, events like the JFK assassination. Um, they pushed the 9-11 Commission to be formed and come out with a comprehensive report. So sometimes conspiracy theories can do good things. And even if they're wrong, is it that conspiracy theorists, the population of them, are growing, or is it just the platforms are available now to where they can amplify their message so easily? They can amplify the message, and it's easy for everyone to see what they're talking about. It's not necessarily the case that people are believing it more. I mean, there's always a rush to judgment that this is the year of conspiracy theory. And then the next year is the year of conspiracy theory. It can't always be the year of conspiracy theory. It can't always be going up, or else we would have fallen off the conspiracy cliff by now. I wonder if any of these theories, including crisis actors, can truly be controverted at their core, at their foundation, with facts. Or, or are these people, as you said, just impervious, that no matter what they're presented with, they're going to think what they're going to think, and they're going to post what they want to post? So a lot of these people are just going to think what they want to think, and all you can do is let them be, right? There are some people that we can reach, and it's important that we uh, do good reporting. It's important that when people, everyday people, see stuff on social media that isn't true, that they politely call it out so that the people sharing it don't continue to share it. Companies like Google, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, the whole deal, they say they are trying to stop the prominence of these types of conspiracy theories from getting on their platforms, especially when they're trending. Some have been more successful than others. And again, just like the professor was saying there, most of the people I spoke with about this that ran the gamut, they say you're not going to change most minds by arguing about this, but it's important to dispel the false claims directly. No name calling, just truth telling.